Funky Mix. Start sequence. Let's go. This is the Hellfire drone from Calibre. It's got 15 minutes flight time. That's like double what a toy grade normally gets. So that's pretty impressive. You can download an app which gives you the first person view from there. Connects to your phone, Android or iPhone. You need that if you're going to take pictures or video. And it also helps to fly it. I mean you can fly it with the transmitter only. But if you want to see what the camera is seeing on the screen. Or if you have VR goggles. You could use it on that too. See it's got the camera separate. So you can take that off if you want. You do have to put this together. You have to put the legs and camera. A couple other things together. Shouldn't take you too long. So we're going to open this up and see what's in the box. So you can see we got the instructions. There's a happy, not happy card in here. If you want to do some feedback. The instructions look like they're all in English. Looks like it covers a little everything. What all the buttons do, the alarms, how to start it, all the different parts if you need new parts, all the buttons. It's kind of weird that two top buttons on the remote or on the transmitter are non-functional and don't work, but they have the trim button and the speed button on the bottom. It's kind of weird, but I guess it works. So we're going to take this part, put it together, and we'll be back in a snap. Okay, so you have the drone. You have the camera, the battery, which is by territory. So you can't buy just any battery, you have to buy their battery. Comes with two legs. The controller. It's got a screwdriver, an Allen wrench, extra caps for the props. It's got two chargers, one for the for the battery and one for the camera. It's got four extra props. Now this does come with a little quick start guide on here tells you all the buttons, what they all do. These top two do nothing; they're just for looks, which is kind of weird because I got two buttons back here for your speed and your trim. You do need three AAA batteries or four AAA batteries. It's got the phone holder already built into it, so you just pull this out. It's kind of neat. And flip this out so your phone will fit in here. Fit across here. I guess you could fold these out of the way if you need to. If it doesn't quite fit, it should lay right on top of there and go across everything though. So that's kind of cool. The SD card goes inside here. Charging port there. This just slides on the bottom of the drone. So we'll put this together and see what we got. Okay, I'm back. Got it all together. Wasn't too hard. Slide the camera on. Screw the legs in. Screws are already in the hole or in the legs. So you just pop that in there. Put the batteries in here. Now to get this to work, always turn the drone on or the transmitter on first. Pull this left stick down and let go. It starts flashing a little slower. Turn the drone on. Now it'll flash and it'll hook up together. You can hear this beeping. It, it went solid. The lights on here went solid. So you can see greens in front, reds in back. Kind of like a car. Brake lights in the back. And now if you want to calibrate it. You make sure this is on a level surface, like if you crash this and it starts flying a little weird, you just put this on a flat surface, you push this one, let the right stick down to the outside and let go, it starts flashing then goes solid again. Now it's calibrated, it knows this is flat and level, now you're good to fly. So to start the props, you just push both of the sticks down and into the center, and now you're ready to fly. So you need to push the one button takeoff, or lift the stick to fly. Or you can push both these back to the center again and turn the props off. And you're ready to fly, so we're going to take this outside. Now the camera, you can adjust before you take off a little bit, move it up and down. But you got to remember, you're probably going to be flying a little bit at an angle, so you want to try to keep this up a little bit. If you point it down too far and you're flying this way all the time, you're just going to take pictures of the ground and get grass, so that's no fun. So we'll take this outside and be back. So first thing you got to do with this is hook up your Wi-Fi for your for the camera on this to your phone so you can open the app up 
and push the video button or the camera button so you can take pictures and video. It records the SD card that's in the camera. Or you can use the app to fly it with instead of the controller. It's up to you. As you can see, the one touch takeoff works pretty well. It gets up to a certain height and then hovers until you take off and fly. It's got some pretty good range and distance on it. As you can see, I flew out to the trees there. It's probably about 150, 200 feet there. It's a little hard to see with the trees, but it's got a little bit of speed to it. It's not too bad of a drone. I said the speed isn't terribly fast, but that's what you want in a beginner drone and a camera drone. You start spinning and going crazy with this. Nobody likes to see those videos. Just a nice, easy turn like that. The aisle's not too bad. As you can see the camera, it's a 720p camera. It takes pretty good pictures. If you're bouncing around a lot, it does get a little jello-y, but if you use the altitude hold and let it sit there, it does pretty good. It takes pretty good pictures. It's really not that bad of a camera. And look, see I'm holding this controller up, not even holding the sticks. And it's just kind of sitting there, taking pictures. So it's really not that bad. I said the speeds on it could be a little faster, but I enjoyed flying this. It's a nice smooth flight. It's easy to control. It's got built-in prop guards. You do have to be careful with those. Here's the full video. Like I said, I kind of had the camera pointed down maybe a little too far. So you get a lot of grass instead of what's out in front of it until you get there. But it's a pretty good picture. It's kind of a bright day, so a little less bright might be better. This does auto land when the battery gets low. I didn't charge the battery, so I probably got like four minutes, maybe five out of flight time on this instead of 15 like you should. But I know you can't wait to fly it, so I wanted to see what it would be like to fly it without charging it. It does take about 45 minutes to charge the battery. And it is a battery just made for this, so you can't just swap it out with another battery unless you buy one made for this. As you can see, it's got some pretty good turns to it, a little bit of speed. About hit myself with it. But this will auto land like it's doing there when the battery's dead. And here's a picture I took with the camera, so you can see how good that is when it's just sitting there. That's pretty good. So you should get this.